What up YouTube? It's your boy, Trade Love, with another video. Today we're going to take a look at this Sega Genesis Mini 16-bit system retro. Brought back to the scene last year, 2019. Let's check it out. Sega Genesis Mini has 42 games. They say 40 games plus two bonus. 42 games here uh, is half the size of the original Sega Genesis, and uh, it has 512 megabytes of flash memory. You know the game is the the system is pretty lightweight. The controllers are solid, but there's not much weight to any of this. It's very small light package um, I, uh, I grew up with the Sega Genesis in my early 20s playing with my neighbor he had I had NES he had Sega we were swapping back and forth hours and hours put on there I mainly played the sports game football games uh, but he liked the hockey so I played hockey with him None of those games are on this. This system is going to include uh, some games that I've played, a lot of games I've never played. So let's just check a few out just so you can get some gameplay. This is the menu system. And you can sort A to Z by release date up here in the top corner here. You can just toggle these. Genre. Number players, release date, A to Z, okay? So let's just get some gameplay here, just not a whole lot, but just to check it out. We're gonna look for Streets of Rage. You guys will have to have a find it here. It's not the order, so you should be able to find it easy. All right, Streets of Rage 2, that is. So we'll hit the A button. Hit the A button one more time, now start it up. Classic Sega uh, logo, though it's not saying Sega. I'm not sure why that is. So, this is Streets of Rage 2. I never really played uh, Streets of Rage at all. Streets of Rage is just a beat em up side scroller. One or two players. Hit the start button. So you can play as Max, Axel, Blaze, and Skate. And you see they have different strengths. He has a lot of stamina versus he doesn't have that much stamina. She's just equally okay. He's got speed and jump. So let's, let's try Skate. Button. Gotta remember which buttons. All right. So like all the beat 'em up, you gotta beat these guys up before they beat you up. Now, this is a 16-bit system, so if you've never played Sega Genesis. Uh, you've only played modern games, you're not going to be impressed by much. It's a 16-bit system. All we had prior to this was 8-bit system. But if you're a fan of game, games, I think you'll like this. Again, I, I, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I'm a fan of the arcades. Uh, I like standing up at the arcades. I like putting the quarters in now that I, I'm the arcade owner. Um, but there's a time and place for sitting on the, the couch 
playing a console game. We sat on the couch, me and Jeff, for many hours. His house and my house, we were next door neighbors. And and we played tons, tons, tons of these games. I don't even remember all the games that we played. Some of these games, until I load them up, I'm probably not going to remember them too much because I, 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 I stuck with what I knew and I didn't have a whole lot of games. Mostly sports games, like I said. That's some quick gameplay. Nothing fancy. To get out, you you would have to hit pause, but you have to hold pause down. So I don't think you have to hit pause. You just have to hold it down. So this many systems comes back up. You get four save slots that you can save to. And I believe that's across all of the games. Yeah, that's the wrong button. Pause. Hold it down. Hold it down, doesn't have to be paused. Then you go down and hit the A button. And it'll ask you to confirm yes. So, what do you guys think about this system? Here's the little light console. If you look at it in comparison, that might be in the camera. If you look at it in comparison to, say, an iPhone 6S Plus, it's just a, it's a little less wide and a little bit taller. So it's a really, really small package, very light. Uh, I'm not sure what this volume, if this volume button does anything. Off on switch, reset button, I don't believe that does. The reset button is just there for nostalgia. Got your two ports for your for your player one and player two. It has this little slide out cap on the back. It's just for looks as well. Doesn't do anything. You got your HDMI and your power. That's it. Got an LED on the front to show that it's powered on. But I'll give it some more play. Come back a little bit later and uh, tell you what I really think about it. Again, you can't compare this to any modern day system. This is purely from a nostalgic, nostalgic standpoint. Whether you're going to enjoy this or not whether the games that you like are available, whether this thing can be hacked, you can put the games you do like on it. That is my goal uh, to do that. Also, I ordered this TurboGrafx-16 Mini. I have never played this. I don't even recognize any of these games on here. At all. So this is going to be an interesting adventure here. Bomberman maybe, but yeah, nothing, nothing rings a bell there. So that's totally new, but, but Sega had a lot of experience with that. Um, just some of the games that, that stand out that I either, you know, Tetris obviously here, Tetris. Um, Contra. Contra, they have a, a different version of Contra than I have played. Shinobi, I've never played that, but a friend of mine talks about that a lot. Sega the Hedgehog and Sega the Hedgehog 2. I played Sonic the Hedgehog 1, never played 2. Uh, and Sonic Spinball, never played that. So there's there's more games on here. Strider, I don't think I played that until I played it on arcade. Um, Virtual Fighter, I played that. This is Virtual Fighter 2. I couldn't imagine that game is any good. Um, never really liked the first one. It was um, just too blocky for my likes, to my liking. So 
So we'll we'll see what this what this uh, we'll do RK mode. We'll see what this this uh, system does for me. My buddy just bought his as well, and he's waiting on a rainy day to try it out. <laughs> Any game that has just three buttons as a fighter, not gonna be able to do a whole lot to begin with. Just a lot, bunch of kick. So just a quick little gameplay. Nothing too fancy. Nothing like what Tekken 3 that I love. We just excel to that. Can I go up to go down? Yes, I can. One time. And yes, we quit. Alright guys, so just a real quick look at this system. I just got it. Uh, I'm gonna be playing around with it here over the next few days, next week or so. And telling you which games I like, which games I don't like, uh, my overall expression of it. But this this is just a quick video. I don't know how long it's gonna be, but for me, this is very quick. Um, but thanks for watching guys, I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, in the comments, have you ever played the Sega Genesis original one or the mini? Do you have either one? What's your favorite games uh, of these that are available? Which games do you like the best? Which one should I try next? Let me know. I'm definitely going to need your help on this one. Alright guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you.